Actually, I would uh, disagree with that statement. I, I think it's never going to be a dull life when you're in Korea. So today we're going to show you some fun things to do to pass your time when you're not teaching. And a lot of these activities are encompassed by what we like to call room culture in Korea. So just to give some background, in Korea, basically it's expected that you're going to live with your parents right up until the time you get married. So whether you're 27 or 32, uh, it's expected that you're going to live with your parents until the day you get married, and then you're going to start your new life from there. So in Korea, there's no such thing as uh, getting an apartment with your college buddies or moving in with your girlfriend or boyfriend. So I think that young adults and kids need some basically time and, and space to explore themselves and have some fun without their parents being involved. So that's where um, room culture kind of started from. And there's several different types of rooms that you can go to. Um, the, Korean, the Korean word for room is, is bomb. So when you're looking around at signs, you'll see a lot of something something bomb. So the, the kind of granddaddy of the bong is nori bong. Nori means singing, so nori bong is uh, singing a room. Uh, you might know it more as karaoke, but it's a little bit different in, uh, in, Korean, uh, in Korea. Um, and there's also PC bong, computer room, DVD bong as well. So today we're going to explore some different types of bongs and show you what they're all about. Okay, so our first stop today is at the singing room. So if you remember I said uh, nori is singing in, uh, in Korean, and bong is room. Uh, so you probably can't read Korean yet, but this says Nore Bang, which means uh, singing room. So you're definitely be visiting here sometimes with your co-workers and friends. And uh, let's go in and take a look and see what it's all about. Okay, so we're in the Nore Bang now. This is what a typical Nore Bang looks like. It's a little bit different than a karaoke bar, so it's not what you might expect. Uh, the rooms are actually divided up and they'll have everywhere from a really small room where it just fits two people up to bigger rooms might fit 10 or 20 people. So usually you'll come here with your coworkers. Um, typically this is the third, what we like to say the third stop. So usually you'll go for dinner with your coworkers and friends, um, have some dinner and some drinks, maybe go to a bar after that. And then the third round, we, they call samcha in Korean, would be coming to uh, karaoke or noribang. So this is what a typical uh, noribang looks like again. So you can see it's all different rooms. Uh, they do serve drinks and beer. Uh, the drinks will be about 1,000 won or one dollar. Uh, beer will be about 3,000 won or three dollars each. So you come on in. Uh, basically, you talk to the person at the front desk. Uh, you grab your room depending on what size you want. So and it goes by hourly fee. So it's going to be anywhere from 6,000 won to 10,000 won, which is roughly six to ten dollars per hour, uh, depending on the time. So usually evening is uh, more expensive. Uh, this is the daytime now, so there's not many people here. It's even more popular in the evening. Uh, so we're going to go in uh, one of the rooms and, and see what it looks like. Okay, so we've got our room now. Um, so everybody would pack into this room. This room could probably fit maybe eight people or so. Um, we've ordered maybe some beers. So they'll come in in a second. And so this is the typical Nori Bang room. This is where you do the singing. So you have your remote control. You're going to choose your songs. And again, it's very private, so every group has their own room. Uh, so you choose your songs here. Um, and here's the, uh, the song list. So don't worry, there will be some songs in English in here. So about uh, I'd say about 70% are Korean songs and the last 30% are English songs. Um, so you will have songs that you can sing. Um, and all this, this seems a little bit trivial. This is actually pretty important in Korean culture to build relationships with your coworkers and other friends too. So definitely when you get invited to a Nori Bang, you, you should go, um, have some fun. Uh, even if you think you can't sing or you don't like to sing, uh, just give it a shot and they'll ask you to sing you know, at least one song and it's a good uh, stress reliever. And uh, so let's uh, try it and see how it goes. Okay, so we've got everything set now. We've got the Nori Bang mic. You can see it has a beautiful echo on it to uh, mask your terrible voice. And so we've got the remote control here, so I'm going to choose a song. Um, seven, two, three, six. And we're going to start. I'm going to give my deal. I've got a bad case of love for you. Okay. 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 Um, after butchering a song, I still got 98, so they're very gentle with you uh, your, during your experience in karaoke. So that's basically it. You'll stay here for maybe an hour or two, um, have some drinks, have some good times with your friends and co-workers, and then head out after that. So that's a typical Nori Bang.